called Bubblegum Paper, and I am here with a one layer, sorta kinda card. It's a birthday card, and it features products from Mama Elephant. And today's card is a very, very special card. It's for my boyfriend, Robert. He is one of the most supportive, loving, caring individuals, and I'm just so happy to have him in my life. So happy, happy birthday, Robert. Here is a close-up of your birthday card, and let's get started. The products I'm using today for Mama Elephant are the little edible stamps, which are so cute, and this confetti stamp set that has this really fun sentiment. I'm also using the cake stand from the Lawn Fawn Baked with Love stamp set. So for this one layer card, I'm starting with a standard A2 size piece of cardstock and I'm scoring it down the middle. And then I'm going to do a bunch of stamping. So the idea of the one layer card is that you don't cut out bunches of die cuts and layers and use foam adhesive and stack it up so it's super thick and you just try to do everything in one layer. So that usually involves stamping and kind of creating fun scenes. Um, so what I'm doing here is just stamping the little taco, the hamburger, and the pizza slice from the little edibles. And these are some of Rob's favorite foods. So I thought, you know, he's not a big dessert sweets person and he loves these instead. I'm sure if he could have tacos every single day of the year, he would be so, so, so happy. So I thought I would make a little birthday cake-ish display using these foods. Next, I'm just going to put placeholders for where all the different elements are going. So I'm using washi tape as a decorative element on the left side of the card. I'm using this post-it note to mark where the score line is so I know where the sentiment needs to go. And then I'm laying down the little cake stand with the pieces of food on it and just getting a general sense of the space allocation. Now the reason why I said this is a kind of a one layer card is because technically washi tape is a layer in and of itself so that makes it a two layer card. Although I could argue that's like a sticker. I don't know, maybe stickers aren't allowed either. Um, but then in the end I do add pattern paper too so that ultimately makes it kind of a two layer card but from a percentage basis it's still a one layer card. Anyhow, so I'm going to zoom in here and I basically stamped the taco with the candle on top of that. I added the burger and then I stamped the pizza last. Then I'm going to take that cake stand and I'm just carefully lining it up so it overlaps a little bit with the pizza and the, and the burger so they look like they're sitting on top of the cake stand. And then the taco is balancing on top of them with the candle sticking through the beef or the carnitas or the cheese or the shrimp or the fish or whatever kind of taco this is. And now I'm just going to go in and color all of this with my Copic markers. So I'll speed it up, just set it to some music, and I will be back soon. Next, I'm going to stamp the sentiment using some Versamark ink, and I'm just placing that right above the taco cake. And I'm sprinkling on some liquid platinum embossing powder from Ranger, which you all know I love. And I'll heat set that with my heat tool. And I just love these sentiments from Mama Elephant. This one says, to you from me with love. And they have so many different sentiments that are written in this beautiful handwriting. And I felt like there was still something missing on the front of the card, so I took the little hearts that came with the confetti stamp set and I just stamped them in red. Um, and then I'm going to embellish the hearts a little as well. First I'll take the washi tape that I had as a placeholder and I'm just taping that in place. And this washi tape has some gold foil accents on it, which is super pretty. And it adds a little pop of color to the front of the card. I still think this is one layer because it's so flat, like there's no foam adhesive or anything on there. 
I wanted to add a little bit of shading underneath the cake stand to kind of ground it a little. So I just went in with a very light C00 Copic marker, added that in, and now I'm taking some glossy accents and I lost the tip to it or the tip broke off. So I'm very carefully applying glossy accents to each of the hearts. And you have to let this dry for a while, at least 30 minutes or an hour or so. I didn't really time it, I just let it dry overnight. Um, but it kind of creates this very cool raised enamel dot feeling to it. And then I still felt like the front of the card needed some more, so this is where it becomes a two-layer card. I added this tiny little strip of patterned paper just to sort of separate the washi tape from the rest of the card. So here are two close-ups of the finished card, and happy, happy birthday, Robert. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, and we can even go eat tacos tonight to celebrate. Thank you all so much for watching. Here are two more cards I made featuring food in them. So the one on the left is a spinning ice cream card, and the one on the right is a donut worry, be happy, feel better soon card. You can follow me on social media at Bubblegum Paper or visit my blog at bubblegumpaper.com for more project ideas. Thanks again for watching and catch you next time. Bye!